It's been eight grueling hot hours on this river, chasing poachers in the Republic of Congo's largest national park. For these eco guards, disappointment follows disappointment. When you put your hand inside, it's actually still quite warm, which means that they probably left early in the morning. Finally, around a bend, signs of activity, smoke rising along the bank. They rush ashore and fan out into the jungle. Within seconds, a gunshot. And the pursuit begins. The terrain is dense and disoriented. The men force their way through the undergrowth and slosh through knee deep water. Our CNN team can barely keep up. They've all gone forward trying to chase down what seems to be a poacher who, at least most definitely, is armed. They appear to have caught him completely by surprise. Mathieu Ekel, head of the park's anti-poaching division, brandishes the weapon captured by one of his men. The guy in front of him tried to shoot him. Pumped on adrenaline, Brice Moapelé describes what happened. He tried to shoot me, like this, he says. Moapelé then tackled the poacher, grabbing the gun, but the poacher got away. There's elephant meat in the boat. The men find the poacher's canoe, weighed down with fresh elephant meat, still dripping blood. Even more hangs off the sides. This is to take out the tusk. It's a sickening image of a trade that has decimated the park's elephants. The non-profit group African Parks, which runs Odzala, estimates that Central Africa has lost 62% of its forest elephants in the last decade. In this park alone, thousands have been killed in the last five years. In the week we spent here, we only saw one alive. The park about the size of Connecticut is patrolled by just 76 eco-guards. Not nearly enough, but some 40% of them are former poachers themselves, which helps big time. They know how poachers work. So it's easy for them to, to think like them. It's part of a program created by Ekel in the last year, where poachers are given amnesty if they hand over their weapons and confess. Ekel says this raid is proof his program works. But the unit's successes come at a price. This is a country where corruption is routine and where poaching with impunity has been a way of life. All these eco-guards have been threatened. Frank Bolangonga tells us three men attacked his wife. They tried to rape her, but she was strong. She pulled back and her dress ripped off and she ran away, he says. The same men who Bolangonga says are part of his village's poaching ring tried to attack him. He stabbed one of them. The unit doesn't find any elephant ivory, but does end up with four guns, ammunition, and a cell phone, a potential ah, voilà, lead to the poachers. The eco guards torch the camp to send a message. These men often find themselves pursuing people they once worked with, friends, neighbors, and even family members. In the ever-evolving fight against the ivory trade, out here, it's now personal. Arwa Damon, CNN, Odzala National Park, Republic of Congo.